What up everybody, Jimmy here. We got educated rumble match number five. Um, oh, we're down a good bit on this one. Um, we got the evil dead. I'm going to jump in and see what we can do. See if I can catch us up a little bit. First up, we got Esioder. Esioder. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, we'll go with the Quahog College for that attack. And we'll go ahead and just start crazy. I know that's going to be... Oh, it didn't. Is that a... Oh, they have a Clash deck in? Because uh, I was expecting that to become a Qbert Farnsworth and uh, hijack all of that. But, hey, we're good. Um, they're not punching, so I don't need Bodyguard. Highest HP on the board for good measure, just in case. Throw Learner out again, and that'll be a hundo. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> I say that after one match. Uh, we got Courtney up next. We're going to go with that Bending School. It's got one point higher attack. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the Bending School, and then we'll try and set up a Mission Doctor for uh, slot two, or just pulling Peggy, because that won't get touched. Um, how much is that being shielded? No, it's going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and put that Quahog College down. Oh, that hurt. So, uh, yeah, we're going to want to go ahead, and we don't want to motivate into that, so we're going to go ahead... Oh, whoops, yeah. I say, I don't want to motivate into that and then do it anyway. I'm a genius. Um, sex Ed Peter is not, however, but uh, we're going to put some bodyguard on there with Farnsworth. Okay. And I think it might be over right here, so we're going to put Lerner out there for that HP... And it was. Okay, Gene and Bender both took some hits, so... Yeah, that's, uh, we finally run into a BGE that doesn't have Bodyguard. No, no, just uh, Punch and Heal. So the Heal's helping, but uh, some of that Bodyguard would be nice, because there's some decent Punch combos in this. Hey, there's one of them. Um, go ahead, and he's not hijacking, so we can motivate right into that and get that going. Uh, he's not blocking, he's not breaking through, so he's not crazing. Oh, that one hurts. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Quahog College um, and hope Bender in slot 2 dies before anything too big happens. Uh, pulling Peggy because we want options still. All right, we're just going to go ahead and let's go fart so that they can't touch us. And then, hey, everybody was healed, and that's a hundo. All right, that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, we got Piotisman, Putisman, something. Uh, we're going to lead Fron because he's the only item that leaves options open. I don't think I can one-shot that. 28 and 28 is only 54. Uh, 27 and 26, even less. And that makes the not-wall combo with Peggy. So we're going to go ahead and get that Bending School started. And, yeah, I'm going to hijack all of that craze. That's going to be beautiful. Uh, we'll go ahead and do an alpha house. And let's go ahead and bomb and punch. Probably should have done something else, but that's okay. We'll do Jimmy Jr. And we'll turn him into a educated to get healed up. And Bender is going to end it in slot one. Highest HP educated on the board will be Peggy. Bob didn't quite get healed up, so 96. I'll still take that. All right, we got Jarpy, Jar Jarpy, something. Um, we're going to Neil Goldman. He's not the highest attack, but he does have way higher uh, HP than the other ones. Uh, we did get a craze off. Is that being shielded for... It is. So we can go ahead and motivate since they're not hijacking and keep him crazing. And then we're going to go ahead and... Do we want to motivate more? No, we'll just go ahead and hijack for whatever they attempt to do. With a... Oh wait, that's cheering down the line. Never mind. Oops. Uh, we got Quahog College. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to put up another wall so that once he gets healed, they can't touch it, and that's going to be a hundo. All right. We got Digity, Digiti, something. 
We're going to put that frond out there, 12H, 12 attack, which just got crippled, of course. Um, and then we'll throw high school bill, because when we get him, we'll go for that. Um, any of these make bodyguard combos? They don't, of course. So uh, we're going to go ahead and motivate him just to get him going a little faster. And, oh, wrong gene, wrong gene. Um, we'll just put the... Uh, yeah, if that punch goes right, then uh, stand... Oh, wait, no, it won't, because there's a lot of bodyguard on that. Um, we'll go ahead and motivate Peggy up. We'll go ahead and let's go fart and just shut everything off. So everything will get the chance to get healed up, because nothing that's not breaking through. And Bill is going to end it in slot one. Uh, hopefully Jimmy gets healed up. He does. That will be a hundo. All right. We got Apparatus R1. I'm torn. I want to lead Learner instead of Stuffington, because then Stuffington can motivate that. But that particular Learner only has a four attack, so we're going Stuffington, because I need to get something going, and that might actually do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll take care of it. Um, Jimmy's hijacking, so it doesn't matter. We're going to put a bending school out there. Oh, ow. Um, but he's hitting hard enough. He's going to keep, um, he's going to keep increasing, and, uh, Bender's got a round in beforehand. So, yeah, we should be good. Uh, it just might take a minute. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that wall up there again so that they're not breaking through too much of that. Uh, we'll put a learner in there. Oh, the first two slots went. So, uh, yeah, we should be in pretty good shape. And, yeah, it's over in slot two. Hubert didn't get quite healed up enough. Is that close enough? Yes, it is. It is close enough for the hundo. All right. Uh, we got Hornsteins. We're going to go ahead and lead that bending school. And, okay, do we have anything that can take that out immediately? 23, 24, is he being shielded by anything? No, Qbert should take him out in a one-shot. And then we can motivate that up and keep one-shotting. Okay, we can't one-shot that, but we can motivate and then punch. Um, we'll go ahead and just keep motivating, and that'll do it. All right, take down another hundo. like how that looks. We got a cookie two and absolutely no item or no characters. We got all items. Um, we're going to go with Alpha House because that potentially is going to do something. Like give us not another item. Come on, I'm out of, I need to run out of items. Um, okay, there's a frond eventually. Um... Which one needs it the most? Probably that one, because it's actually taken some damage. Um, all right, he's healed up. We're going to go ahead and put that another bender out there just in slot one. Oops. Uh, slot two is... Oh, slot two is in trouble. Because I'm not ending it in one. He's going to get paid back for 24. And then it's going to be over with no heals. So that just kind of was ugly. Hey, still got a 97 out of that? Really? Maybe I just don't know how the scoring on this works. I could be wrong. Uh, we got Kristop up next. We're going to lead that Alpha House and probably go Bill. Um, 22-21. Ooh, 22-21. Not quite enough. And it is being shielded because it is a Futurama item. So we're going to go ahead and just make the Bending School grad. And then we'll put a Frond out in slot 2. Go ahead and put a learner out in three. Slot one goes away. Oh, ow, that hurt. Um, what hijacks? Yeah, Bender's going to try and hijack at least some of that. And we're going to go ahead and do some uh, gene to motivate stuff up. Oh, whoops. I motivated it too quick in slot one and ended the match. Um, hey, I'll take the 94. So that was uh, 10 hits against the Evil Dead. They had some people going. We're down by uh, just about 6K right now. So uh, we'll see what happens.